Does it not appear strange that the law extends rights to persons who are not owners of property to the extent of binding and restricting the rights of property owners, that is the rights of legitimate property owners? This happens in terms of the law of servitudes. To receive notifications about our upcoming videos, click the like and the subscription buttons below and press that notification bell. Share the videos and channel with your friends. Your likes and your subscriptions are the oxygen that gives life to this channel. So remember to click those buttons. Otherwise, contact me at iClassVirtual at gmail.com. Follow me at Twitter as well as on my Facebook a, a page that's Pilani Tanan and Lovu. My Twitter angle is at iClassVirtual. Thank you very much for being part of today's presentation. Once more, once more, thank you for supporting my channel. It has been growing very well through your support. I can, I'm seeing your comments, I'm seeing your likes, and I'm seeing your subscriptions. Thank you very much. Let's not waste time. We are looking at uh, servitude uh, within the framework of property rights. We have spoken about uh, ownership, possession, and real security in other videos. If you need any um, ideas and understanding on those, just remember to click and visit those videos where we spoke about ownership, possession, and real security. This time we are looking at servitude as one of uh, those rights, and it's a a right in the property of another. Uh, we have said earlier that uh, a servitude is a kind of a, a right in the property of another, or a euro in re aliena. Remember, we gave an example uh, in our scenario, in our opening scenario, where we said the law extends the protection of rights of uh, you know non-owners in the property of owners to the point of placing restrictions on the, on the rights of, of legitimate owners so let's see how this happens uh, we have imagine we have two plots there as shown in our diagram, we have plot A and we have plot B. A and B are owners of neighboring plots that share in contiguous territory. Plot A has a dam, while plot B does not have a dam. B's livestock always cross the boundary fence, entering plot A in order to drink the water there. Last month, A got upset after an argument at the local bar and closed the gate that uh, B's cackle have always been using to enter Mr. A's plot. So then the question is, has A violated any rights to which B is entitled? Now, in terms of the law of servitude, yes, the closure of the gate is a violation of the servitude rights that Mr. B enjoys in respect of Mr. A's property. A servitude is a limited real right which one person holds over the property of another, conferring on the holder the right to use the other uh, person's property in a specified way. As we can see there, uh, access to a water point by B is a requirement, otherwise his livestock will not survive without water. So A has to open up his farm so that B can access the water for that purpose. Uh, there are many types of servitudes, parietal servitudes, that is, a uh, right of passage, right of, of water, you know, and even right of a wall. For instance, uh, talk about uh, properties in the urban settlement where one person's building provides a wall which may be used by the neighbor in the construction of their own property and so on. 
so we have parietal servitudes then we have personal servitudes as we have already highlighted above mr a violates a servitude right uh, when he blocks mr uh, that is plot b's rights to enjoy the waterway or the, the the water resource there at mr a's plot so in terms of uh, these parietal servitudes plot a is regarded as a servient tenement it is a, a, it is subject it is a yeah, subject in a way it is dominated by a plot b which is uh, viewed as a dominant tenement uh, because plot b certainly overbears plot a in other words it is it places a burden over plot a uh, plot a's rights get very limited very restricted when mr b's uh, cake left to cross the fence so we find that uh, a servient tenement is burdened it's encumbered we, we say that it is encumbered by this limited re real right it's a real right uh, that mr b or plot b enjoys it is real in the sense that it does not operate against the persons but it operates against the plot so it's not mr a or it's not mr b who has rights to use mr a's farm but it's the property b which has a right to access to to enjoy you know the use of a waterway in plot a so we are saying subsequent uh, owners in title of the two plots are bound by the relationship so if even if the two property owners were to sell their properties you find that the the people the persons purchasing the two properties the two adjacent properties would still have to you know respect this relationship because as i have already said it's the real right that plot b enjoys over plot a it's not a personal right it's not in terms of a contract between the two of them even if it may have begun as a contract but once it is registered against the title then it is binding to subsequent owners so the burden is not on the owner of the plot but on the property itself and pro uh, plot b is the beneficiary the beneficiary of the right and not uh, the owner of the plot so just to summarize it a servitude is a burden on the property it's not a burden on the people um we have had a case in south africa the else expert held in hayes case whereby it was uh, noted that uh, uh, you know a parietal servitude is a subtraction from dominion it actually diminishes the rights of the owner since it is registrable at the deeds office uh, it operates against the, uh, the, 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 the 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 you know the civilian tenement so in that case therefore being a subtraction from dominion it limits it reduces the the, the benefits of, of the the ownership that uh, the Serbian tenement has and so uh, the right can be obtained through a prescription for instance we spoke in another video about the operation of the law of prescription where if plot a has uh, been providing uh, water or a passage for plot b for a period of 30 years without interruption uh, in terms of the prescription act 68 of 1969 a, a right of servitude then arises in favor of uh, plot b and it's registrable in law uh, as operating in favor of plot b so that's how a uh, personal uh, servitude comes um, in this video we don't talk about personal servitudes we talk about parietal servitudes so it's very important to take note of that uh, there are 
very important principles um, that uh, guide the, the, the enjoyment of a servitude right by the dominant uh, tenement. We say that it must be, you know, servitude rights must be exercised civilly, tamodo, that is, uh, in a very civilized way. In other words, the, 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 the owner, or rather the, 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 yeah, the owner of the dominant uh, tenement should not place undue burdens to the point of inconveniencing uh, the, the servant uh, tenement, our previous A there, in, according to our diagram. So it must be in a very civil way, very civilized way, with very little or no interruption. And uh, the, the, it's, we have the prior to utilitas uh, principle where we are saying, if, for instance, Mr. Rather Plot B acquires its own waterway and then stops using uh, the waterway in point A for quite some time, then the, the service should, should fall away because it must only be uh, useful to plot A. For instance, if the waterway in plot A were to dry up, then point B has no reason to continue driving his uh, livestock into point into plot A because there is no water facility anymore. So we are saying the, serv the servitude must be useful. And the other principle is that one cannot enjoy a, a, a servitude uh, right over his or his own property. So if uh, Mr. I say point plots A and B were to be acquired and owned by one person who then merges them into one plot, uh, the servitude falls away. Now, a servitude is a burden upon the property and in favor of the property and not in favor of an individual. We have already belabored this point in the foregoing uh, discussion above. A servitude does not impose a positive duty on the servient tenement to do anything, but it only enjoins him to, to not, you know, to allow undisrupted use by the dominant tenement. So, in other words, it would be unreasonable for 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 the dominant tenement to then start uh, placing a demand on positive action uh, by. Uh, you see, plot, plot uh, the, 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 the Savian tenement. Take an example of a, a waterway or a dam that is being used by the, the dominant tenement, maybe to, to, to drink his own cake or livestock. If uh, the tem, I mean, if the dam bursts its banks and then the water flows out, it, it would be unreasonable for you know, plot B, that is the dominant tenement, to expect plot A to repair the dam. Under such circumstances, uh, plot B must facilitate a repair of the dam. Of course, uh, plot A must not uh, prevent or block plot B from, you know, putting measures in place to repair the dam wall. So it is the duty not of the, the servant tenement, but it is the duty of the dominant tenement to repair the dam in that sense. That is the dam wall. So these principles are very, very important in order to facilitate, you know, a friendly and a civilized, uh, you know, use of, of the, a rather enjoyment of the servitude rights without really restricting the rights of the owner so that those encumbrances must not really be a serious inconvenience on the uh, Savian tenement. Thank you very much for taking part in, in this, uh, you know, presentation. Uh, once more, remember that a servitude is a property right by which one 
person enjoys entitlements or claims over the property of another but as we have highlighted the the, the in terms of uh, prioritial um, prioritial servitudes the rights are not in favor of the person who owns the dominant uh, lot or the dominant property but they are in favor of the property itself so in the event of a transfer of property from one person to the next uh, they remain uh, they are, the, the the property rights are transferred together with the property thank you very much please remember once more to like uh, my my video to share with your friends to subscribe to my channel thank you very much again for your support